Barbecue! Prep is underway. You got all the cooks out here. They're doing the barbecue. It's chicken and ribs that are on the menu, guys, and um, it looks like serious competition here. So, uh, wanted to give you an inside into the preparation before we actually get to the festival. So, make sure you stick with us. We're moving forward. Do the big reveal. You ready? Let's go. Oh wow, look at that. What kind of rub did you put on here? Uh, homemade rub. Homemade, okay. Yeah, full, so full, keep, full, full keep, of a whole, keeping uh, the ingredients uh, secret. Not so much, man. Yeah. I'll tell you everything I do. You, then you have to turn around and duplicate it. I do, that's, that's the, the problem. Yeah, that's a good point. It's all the pre prep, huh? Just checking it out. Nice. What you guys cooking up? Where are you from? Little River. Little River. Not far. All right. How you doing, guys? Good. Oh, you're testing the product already. <laughs> That's the one right there. That's the winner. That's the winner. All right. Hey. What are you guys cooking up? Chicken. Chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. We have our ribs hanging on. And right. ribs, too. It sounds yeah. like chicken and ribs are the way to go. Yeah, it's well, Today. both co the competition is just for chicken and ribs. Oh, so you see, have I didn't know that. What kind of chicken you want? Okay. You could, you could do, it has to be, well, I guess it could be bone in or boneless, but you can do breast, thigh, leg, or okay. uh, wing. And then you have to do the uh, ribs, too. So it's where just a chicken and rib. Where are you guys from? Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore okay. right down the street. I see your full tilt hats, and it's over on York Road, right? Yep. yep yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. my area, Towson. Grew okay. up in Towson, yeah. Yeah, a buddy of mine. Sure. Uh, as the owner. So. Very cool, very cool. And what's the name of your uh, your smoke barbecue show group? Barbecue. Smoke Show? Yep. <laughs> Sounds appropriate. You got two smokers over there going right now? Yep. All ribs right. Are, ribs over there and uh, chicken thighs over here. All right, well, they're expecting a good crowd, so good luck for you guys with the competition. Great, thank you very much. Yeah, Looking nice meeting you. Looking forward to it. Yep. You as well. Got that wood chip flavor, yeah? What kind of wood you use? Uh, pecan. Uh, a little bit of hickory, apple, and cherry. Just a mixture. Now, is this for the chicken or ribs or both? Right now, the ribs are on. Ribs are on, yeah. okay. And where are you guys from, and what's the name of your group? Uh, we're from uh, Northeast Maryland. Okay. We're, we're Whip Up King. We specialize in two spices, Sazon and a Spice Spice. And it's www.whipupking.com, right? Yes. That yes. people can find you there? Yes. Yes. All right, guys. Hey, well, good luck. Thank you. Always like to see the local guys come yeah. out and do it. Yeah. And uh, let's go, birds. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's, hey. Well, that, that's the Eagles, right? Yes, okay. Yes. Hey, Eagle fan. What can Philadelphia. I say? Northeast. That makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, All right. guys. Nice shirt, man. Thanks, man. Rubbing and chugging, huh? That's what you say. Whoa. Now, are these barbecue terms I'm unaware of, or <laughs> or something a little bit more a nefarious? T-shirt, I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah dude. Just saw him a uh, couple. So, yeah, in August. In August, yeah, with yeah. Cody Jinx. That was awesome, wasn't it? It was, probably yeah. Sat next to each other. We right probably now. did, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your uh, barbecue uh, group here and what you guys are doing. You cooking chicken and ribs? Chicken and ribs. Okay. That's the uh, the backyard barbecue. Is, is what we do. Um, this is our fourth year. Okay. Excluding uh, COVID and all that, so. Um, We've always placed kind of middle of the pack. One year we did have a ninth place chicken thigh tournament, okay. which is pretty good. This is the only thing that we do once a year. We don't do any other competitions or anything like that. Nice. So okay. Basically, friends getting together, hanging out, and cooking chicken and ribs. It's a great time. And you guys are local? Yep. We're Where are you from? Uh, Baltimore County. All right, guys. Maryland Barbecue Bash. It's on, it's live, I'm here, and we're gonna go check out all the different stands here and see what's going on. But 
there's a lot of barbecue and that flavor is in the air. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You are my hero. I'm, I'm not coming home for dinner tonight. That's that splat. I'm not coming home. Look at that behind me. That is gorgeous. And you guys are out of Virginia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, VA. They know how to do some uh, barbecue in VA, huh? Woo! Oh, pit sandwiches, man. That's a Maryland favorite. Beef, ham, and turkey. Italian sausages. Then you got your standard uh, carnival fare. Funnel cakes, hamburgers, hot dogs, cotton candy. Soda right out of the keg, huh? So is this uh, like filtered, carbonated, not carbonated? It's all carbonated. Sure yeah. Can. And you guys make it? Uh, not me personally, but it's an original company. The, the company makes it, okay. It's called Wild Bills, huh? Where are they located out of? Uh, headquarters is in Jersey. Okay, Malik, tell me how the, uh, the soda purchasing works here. So you buy a mug, and then when you buy a mug, you get unlimited refills the rest of the day. Rest of the day, okay. As much soda as you could drink. And how many flavors do we have here? We have seven here, but we have more flavors than that. All right, guys, check this out. Here's some uh, samples of what you can get here at the fair. Looks like we've got Italian sausage funnel cake, chicken and fries. So of course you have to have the pit beef stand here, right? Pit beef is a Maryland classic. Can you tell me about your little operation? This is not my operation. It's not I your operation, so you're just standing just here. Face it. But you're the face of the operation. So if you're the face behind it. Here's a table of a table of beautiful swag. I saw, it, yes, you got swag out. Very cool. And then, you know, we got some meat, we got some meat. Got some guys hanging out there making the meat. <laughs> How you doing, meat maker? Well, guys, if you come to a place like this, you have to have pit beef because it is a Maryland tradition. It's part of our pastime. It was a working man's food, and um, it's something that technically falls into the category of barbecue, even though it's cooked at a higher heat. How you doing there, chef? All right, pretty good. Sometimes I just got to sneak in and smell those flavors. Where are you guys from? Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, all right. all right. And how do they do barbecue up in Pennsylvania? Real good. Real good. <laughs> how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome to the Bel Air Barbecue Band. Absolutely. Where are you guys from? We're from New York. Okay. New York? Well, we're actually from Newburgh, so we're actually not too far from you. Okay, okay. Uh, Channel River from South Beach to down to, uh, up to Vermont. Nice. Far west of Dallas. We're in Dallas next week, so it's a good time. Wow, so you really gone to the hot spots where all the barbecue is made. Yeah, we I mean, do. We, we, we roll into town and we're like, oh yeah, the New Yorkers here. Great. The pizza guy. We're like, nope, we're making some barbecue. Now, what are you cooking up for us today? Uh, today we got some brisket for you. We got some Texas style brisket, salt and <sighs> pepper. That's all we do. We cook, cook over some oak wood. I have Louis ribs. I love. I love Texas brisket. I have not found good brisket, so I promise you I will be back here right, we're your place trying your brisket. We appreciate it. Yes, man. sir. And your name one. again is? My name is Ed. Ed and your company? Handsome Devil Barbecue. Handsome Devil Barbecue. Thank you, sir. Thanks nice for coming out today. Let's try this brisket from uh, Handsome Devil out of uh, Hudson Valley, New York. This is a sloppy sandwich. Let's try it though. Mm. That is very, very good brisket. It's not overly saturated in sauce. Extremely juicy. It just breaks apart. Look at that. Oh man, I'm gonna have a uh, barbecue coma after this. We're trying pork ribs out of Virginia this time. This is uh, Divine Barbecue. And look at these bad boys. They're big. We got a whole thing here. That's a lot of food to put in one stomach, but I'm going to find a way to do it. All right, let's dig in. 
I really should have gotten some napkins. I think these are spare ribs, which are not my favorite. Look at the amount of fat in there. This is like every bite. These ribs were $40. $40 for a rack of ribs at a festival. Talk about inflation. Divine makes really good coleslaw. I'll give them that. It's really, really fresh. Three-bone sampler? Yes. Uh, dinner or just a sampler? Just a sampler, yeah. All right, let's try some of this happy applesauce. Never heard of it. All right, let's see if these ribs are as good as they say. Award-winning in Jersey and all these other places they've been. Well, we'll see. Oh my gosh, that's really good. The mild sauce is to die for. It's excellent. Try this uh, apple sauce next. That is uniquely different. So good. With my stomach full, it was time to take in some of the sounds at the barbecue bash. And so I leave you with Mark Bray and the Steel Soul Cowboys. My name is Mark Bray. These guys are the Steel Soul Cowboys. Give them some love. In case you couldn't tell, we do country music. Traveling with Trey. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.